Finally, one more thought. Sometimes history doesn't just rhyme, it actually does repeat itself. This week, the U.S. celebrated Groundhog Day. That's when we all gather around to see whether Puxatawney Phil, that famous large Pennsylvania rodent, will or will not see his shadow, which, of course, determines how long winter will last for the rest of us. We do it every single year. I'm reliving the same day over and over. Just as we repeat other rituals, like, for example, when we regularly gathered to have the Fed chair tell us how inflation would go away on its own, until it didn't. Our expectation is that these, uh, these high inflation readings that we're seeing now will start to abate, and that's, that's what we think. There will be inflation, but that the process of inflation uh, will stop. It, in the end, it, it will be transitory, and uh, um, people need to have faith in the central bank. We also regularly gather to hear Mike Novogratz tell us that the rosy future for Bitcoin is just around the corner. Five years out, if Bitcoin's not at 500,000, I'm wrong on the adoption cycle. There's tremendous amount of venture capital that continues to come in the space. Five billion last quarter, nine billion the quarter before that. We've got all kinds of projects that we want for when the institutions come. Crypto will take off again. I think it gets to $100,000 or higher by the end of the year because I see all these new participants coming in. The world of sports is not without its own version of Groundhog Day, the special ritual when sports megastars announce their retirement, only to have to do it all over again when their retirement doesn't take. Like, for example, Michael Jordan. I am here to, to announce my retirement from the game of basketball. Uh, it won't be a, another announcement to baseball or anything to that nature. Or this week, of course, Tom Brady. I'll get to the point right away. I'm retiring. For good. But leave it to Congress to have a series of Groundhog Days even Hollywood would find too fantastic to put into a movie. As the House of Representatives last month voted for Speaker, again... A Speaker has not been elected. And again... A Speaker has not been elected. And again... A Speaker has not been elected. Leading one of our representatives, Republican Kat Kamek of Florida, to christen it officially. My colleagues, well, it's Groundhog Day, again.